Hiya, uh, welcome back to James Evans Guitar Tuition. In today's lesson, we're really going to uh, look at a few things. Um, the main thing, really, uh, is the F major chord in its traditional shape, which is this. So, you'll notice that for the first time for a beginner, the first finger is playing more than one string. Now, this really um, does cause problems because it's so unnatural. So instead of going straight in and playing this chord here, we're going to build up to playing uh, chords in different positions of the guitar, slowly build up to F major. Now, that shape is, uh, I personally as a beginner, I found it, when I was a beginner, I found that very complicated, I found that very hard. Because your first finger is, for the first time, it's holding down more than one string. And to play it there on the first fret, it's the, the, it's the hardest place to play, more pressure on your finger. So what we're gonna look at really today is look at um, playing similar shapes, but really round, say the 10th and 12th fret, the 10th, 11th, 12th fret of the guitar. Okay, so, so we're gonna look at playing a D major root. Again, we're not going to go too much into the theory at this point. Put your third finger on the 12th fret of the D string, your second finger on the 11th fret of the G string, and your first finger on the 10th fret of the B string. Like so. Eventually you should have this. So again, third finger on the 12th of the D, Second finger on the 11th of G. First finger on the 10th of the B. It's called D major root. We're now gonna have a look at D major first inversion. So from there to there. So all I do for the D major first inversion, I have my second finger on the 11th fret of the G, like before. The first finger on the 10th fret of the B and of the E, like so. So the chord is this. However, if that is too hard, if that is too physically demanding, you have your second finger at the top of your first for now. So, there's my first finger where it should be, my second finger on top and squeeze down. Again, I really, really have to emphasize the position of your thumb on the guitar. The more further down it is, the easier this exercise becomes. So eventually, when you've got the hang of the first of the root to the first, you can play them both together, and that becomes a D major. Another, another way of doing D major. And as you progress on the guitar, as you learn more things, you'll realize there's more and more and more ways to do, to do everything, especially chords and what have you. Okay, so do not progress any further until you can get the hang of that. And it was all nice and crisp and clear. 